guys? It's Sally Jordan here, and right now we will be talking about Transformers Robots in Disguise again. This is Transformers Media News number 13, and, you know, uh, as, as majority of the time, we will be talking about Transformers Robots in Disguise stuff. And, you know, there are some other things I do want to point out that's not regarding Transformers Robots in Disguise. I will not go into detail with them, but, you know, they're all on TFW2005.com, which I will be leaving the link in the description. So, you know, like I said, TFW 2005, I feel like it's my favorite. It's my favorite source of Transformers news. And I go there every day to look, you know, look for news myself and provide you guys with that content as well. Anyways, guys, um, let's go on. And as you can see right here, we have a preview of the Transformers. Actually, I'm not going to go into detail about it. But most of you probably do know. But anyways, yeah, this, is a nice, this is a nice cover. You got Optimus Prime in the background right there. You got Grimlock. He has a huge chin, bumby. That's a <laughs> that's a face. You got fix it. You got strong arm. Is it strong arm or long? Uh, no strong arm? I believe strong arm. And you got satisfied. Satisfied looking a mess. Anyways, let's go. Robots in the Sky 2015 free comic book day issue preview. Through bleeding cool news, we have a glimpse of the free comic book day 2015 Transformers comic, which will be our very first look at the new Robots in the Sky's cartoon on a printed page. The four-page preview, which includes the cover and a wonderfully succinct summary of the series premise, may be viewed on issue. Maybe, maybe viewed on issue. Uh, it looks weird. Alternatively, we embedded it. We embedded it for you after the break. Check it out. All right, yeah. So it looks like you guys could view this on TFW 2005. So I'm going to click to read it. I'm not going to go all the way in. It's going to cool glimpses. Blah blah blah. And that's that's it. That's that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys want to read the stuff, um, if you guys want to read the stuff by yourself, um, I will be leaving a link in the article in the description as usual. So be sure to check that out. And this is um bleeding cool right here. So you know, I'm gonna check this out for you guys right here. There are 50 free comic books. Uh, yeah, just nothing important. All right. So yeah, the whole point is, this is for uh, Robots in the Sky's free comic book day, and yeah, be sure to check this out. Next, next article. Jeff Klein interview part two. Transformers Robots in the Sky show premise, crew and more. Unicron.com has published a second part of the interview with Jeff Klein, the executive producer of Robots in Disguise. On this interview, he mentioned several things regarding the decision to move the show to Cartoon Network, the crew, the animation, and the premises of the show. The motivation behind moving Robots in Disguise to Cartoon Network was to put the series in front of more eyeballs right out of the gate. Cartoon Network is on more cable systems across America than Discovery Family, but I have yet heard what its time slot will be. Robots in Disguise is definitely a lighter, more comedic take on Transformers Universe. There's no ancient war being fought, meaning we can actually take the time to set up a joke and not feeling guilty about it. B is, a fr B is front and center, Optimus, Optimus' status is more mysterious than sorrowful, and there's a younger, more inexperienced, aka less battle-weary cast of characters. Lighter, brighter, even goofier, because we've always viewed the Autobots and the Decepticons as people, not machines, and people are funny. Visually, the series is absolutely pushing the boundaries of what is technologically possible when mixing 3D characters with 2D backgrounds. Once again, we're doing all the design work, all the storyboards, etc. in-house, but partnering with our pals at Polygon for the actual animation. Because those guys are the best there was, there ever was. Sorry about that. The book of the Robots in Disguise team is the same as the Prime team, and that's by design. I have a very small circle of trust. You can read the full interview with more details right here at Unicron.com. I will be leaving a link in the description as usual. So you know, I'm sorry to be saying it again, but you know, I, I can't help myself. I just can't help myself. Yeah, I'm just gonna upload the whole. I'm just gonna put a description, the link. This is a long interview. Yeah, that's a long interview. Unicorn.com, and that's all the important. That's all the important news. This right here. This is extremely old. I'm not really counting this as news. If you guys get what I'm saying, this is extremely old. Um. This is just regarding the toy line, but you know, I don't care about the toy line. What I'm making note of is the fact that this cinematic is actually pretty darn nice. Let him turn it down. Wow. Alright, well, yeah, that that's it. Yeah, the cinematic, the cinematic. That's all I really wanted to do. Um, just look at the cinematic for this looks really nice, especially this right here. That looks really, 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 really. I'm sorry, that looks freaking awesome. 
It looks really awesome. But um, that's besides the point. Um, I will be leaving the video to this to this in the description as well. But um, yeah, that's um, you know, that's regarding this. It's not really big news. It's, it's about the toy line, and you guys already know we don't post anything about toys really. But you know, I just still want to make note of this because the cinematic between, dang, I forgot his name already. Still Jaw. <laughs> okay, there we go. The cinematic between him, Still Jaw, and um, Bone is pretty darn epic. So yeah. And that's all the Transformers Wars in the Sky is news for today. I'm, um, I'm going to scroll up to TLW 2005 just to advertise this site even more due to the fact that it has so many freaking things. You got this, you got that. What else? There was something, something else important I wanted to show you guys too. Um, I was regarding a whole bunch of um, statues. Not statues. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there is a statue. Yeah. You got Prime One Studios Age of Extinction Galvatron statue at Wonder Festival 2015. Prime One Studios Transformers Age of Extinction Autumn China 2015. Um, you got the Drift One Studios and you got Rescue Bots Promo Season 3 2015. And yeah, this is why you guys should visit TFW2005.com where it's my favorite source of Transformers news. I get all my Transformers news from there and everything's perfectly categorized in my opinion. And yeah, you guys can check that out. I'll be leaving each of the videos, articles, and the websites in the description, of course. Sorry for saying it again, but you know, it's just, I just have to. And yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is on um, Transforms Media News number 13. And I'm going to preview all the articles again. This was the comic book article. This was the Jeff Klein interview. And this isn't big news, but you know, I just wanted to show you guys the cinematic. I'll also leave the video in the description. Anyways, guys, thank you for, I really appreciate it for you guys watching this video. Um, you know, I just want to upload news. I just want to upload Transformers news. You know, Transformers is my favorite franchise of all time despite anything else and um um yeah that's all we have to say thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it please leave a like comment or subscribe if you feel like you enjoy my content and will enjoy any other future things and yeah that's all we have to say like i said everything will be in the description if you guys want to check it check the check everything out yourselves and once again thank you for watching anyways guys this is sound wave jordan peace late tour blah